when BMG upper class said the whole like he wanted you and Maya and Kenzo to do the sexy thing, mm-hmm. the snippet that you put out after he said that, did you already have that in the tuck or you made that after he said that? I did that like a day before he said that. Wow, what a coincidence! That's why. That's why, and it's crazy because I wasn't. I wasn't even gonna put that snippet out like no time soon, mm-hmm. and then he just pissed me off, so I just did it. Okay, my follow-up question was, how did you feel when he posted that, and why? I just feel like he was being a clout chaser, like, and I feel like he looked dumb because it backfired on him. One, because everybody was calling him a pervert, and two, because <laughs> I shitted on him with the trailer. So it's like, you try to, not trying to play us in a sense, because I understand what he's saying, but mm-hmm. I just feel like that wasn't something that you had to, like, put out there. You could have, like, DM'd us or some shit like that. Yeah. Now you did that, and now you look dumb. Now he asking me to be on his podcast. Right. I feel like, especially with you, I think that, it's super interesting because I always felt like out of all the, the drill girls, you were, like, you did talk that hot shit, but I feel like you was talking your, like, I threw I'm little things bitch. in you it, yeah. talking about niggas. Like, I just said that I'm going to act bad on a nigga. Like, I feel like you're, you've are you always done that. So it was interesting to me that he would even include Yeah, he beast it. He probably watched that shit, like, three times a day. Like. <laughs> What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Brianna Imani, and the clip may be done, but there's still more to come, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe.